you rewatch it on our YouTube channel, you can. Um, but thank you all again for joining me this morning. We still have some people popping in. This is our Cookies and Milk class. I'm kicking off the series today. Again, my name is Kylie. Thank you so much for being here with me today. And we are going to be making a candy cane milk and cookies. Doesn't that just sound so festive? I I love it. Um, and with that, I also wanted to let you know that um, this class is in partnership with the American Dairy Association Northeast. And one of their holiday messages, and if you've joined us for other holiday series in the past, um, we've teamed up with them too. And they have a milk, Make Milk Moments contest. And so I highly recommend that you, um, that you enter because the prizes are so great. So, um, when you're entering, you can tag your photos with make hashtag make milk moments. And then you have a chance to win a thousand dollars and a gift basket. And I put on the side, everything that a gift basket has. So there's an espresso machine, mugs, waffle maker, cereal bowls, and more. That's a great gift. Um, so I put the link um, in this presentation. As always, you'll get the presentation later today. Um, it has, so you can enter. It has all of this um, great information about the contest on there. Um, so thank you to the American Dairy Association for, for sponsoring our class today. All right, so with that, this is what we're going to be making today. Well, actually, first, I want to go through some dairy nutrition before we get into that. So why I wanted to spotlight milk, especially in this recipe today. So first, I'll say um, I am 36 weeks pregnant. And with both of my my babies, all that I crave is milk. <laughs> um, it is my number one craving. Anyone would tell you. Um, that's been around me for the last couple of weeks. That's all I want to drink. And um, so this recipe is sounds extra yummy to me because I love milk, love chocolate milk. And it's so important, not only for during pregnancy, but also anytime, because we do know that it has 13 essential nutrients. And I have this graphic there, which you can um, kind of zoom in on when you have the presentation, but it basically just takes you through all the nutrients that milk provides us with and dairy products too. So milk, cheese, and yogurt. Um, so we always think about calcium, right? Our teeth, our bones, but you also are getting things like protein for building and rebuilding your muscles. You're getting vitamin D. So that sunshine vitamin, but we know that's also going to be really important for that bone health, um, phosphorus, potassium, the list goes on and on. So, so many important nutrients and we're recommended to have about three servings from that milk, cheese, or yogurt throughout the day. So this actually will help to provide you with a serving from that dairy group. All right. So today what we're going to be making is a chocolate candy cane milk and a chocolate candy cane cookie. Um, so like I said, very rich and yummy um, with a little pop of that peppermint sweetness. So what you're gonna need for the milk is probably ingredients you already have in your kitchen, which is another reason why I really like this. So just milk, whatever, um, whichever one you have, some chocolate syrup, peppermint extract. And I'm going to say that that's optional. I know some people like just like the teeny tiniest taste of peppermint. Some people like a lot of it. So whichever you prefer, um, some chocolate chips and candy canes. So that's what you're going to need for the milk. And then for the cookies, um, I will admit to you that I'm not the best baker <laughs> on our on our dietitian team. I think I'm too impatient. Um, so this is the perfect cookie for me because most of the work is already done and we're just adding a few other ingredients. So we're gonna be using the blue diamond chocolate cake mix as our base and then just adding to it the um, some oil, eggs, vanilla, and then we'll talk about why the sugar is optional and what you can do with it while we're making the cookies. So that's all the ingredients you're gonna need um, for such a fun and festive holiday themed milk and cookies little snack. So with that, let's get started. Um, like I said, you will get the presentation after, um, but we're gonna talk through everything today too. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is do our cookies get those in the oven, we'll make our milk, and then it should all come together at the end. 
All right, so I'm gonna stop sharing so you can see everything that I'm doing. Move you down here. And we're gonna get started with our cookies. So we have our oven preheated, preheated to 350 degrees. Um, so that's already ready to go. And I'm just gonna open this cake mix here. So very versatile cake or cookies. And this is great because it'll still give you that chocolatey taste. But if you are looking for something that um, is gluten-free, maybe you have friends or family um, who are needing something that is gluten-free, this could be a great option um, that still gives you that, you know, cake taste that we all love. So here we're gonna use one mix. And then we're just gonna add the typical ingredients that you would, but we're gonna do it in a style that'll give us a cookie rather than a cake. All right. So to this, we're gonna add two eggs. Let me just move this right over here. So we have two eggs. One, two. And my apron, like I told you, is the Make Milk Moments. So I'm just gonna mix that in here a little bit. You can never have enough aprons. I'm convinced of that. All right, so we have our two eggs. We're also going to add in a third cup of oil. Make sure I have the right one. Third cup of oil. Okay. Mix that together. And then we're gonna add in a little vanilla. And anytime you're looking to elevate a box mix, adding in any type of extract or flavoring will definitely just very quickly elevate that flavor of it. All right. And then we're gonna add in a teaspoon of vanilla. There we go. One teaspoon. Okay, so now that we have the two eggs, a third cup of oil, and a teaspoon of vanilla, we're gonna mix this all together. And as you can see, it is a little bit thicker, but that's okay because again, we're not making a cake, we're making cookies and we want them to be a little bit thicker so we can scoop those out. So at this point, you have the option of popping it in the fridge so that I can kind of form nicely together. I'm not gonna do that at this point because that would take up our whole class. <laughs> that wouldn't be very interesting. So I'm just gonna pop these on my sheet pan and we're just looking for about like, you know, one inch little, little balls. And in the ingredients, you'll notice that it says you can also use a fourth cup of sugar. Um, so that step is optional because at this point, if you wanted to, you could take the ball and roll it in sugar, like a snickerdoodle, um, but you don't have to do that. I'm not gonna do that because we're gonna top it with candy canes um, near the end. After we make our milk, we're gonna have some crushed candy cane left over. So I'm gonna roll um, or top the cookie with that. But um, if you would like to add that extra sugar and make it more of like a, like a, almost like a snickerdoodle kind of, you could do that too. I just saw a yummy pop up. I agree. Nothing gets better than a chocolate cookie with some candy cane. And it, I will say, if anyone has any secrets to opening candy canes without making a giant mess, I would love to hear it because I struggled so much to get those candy canes open without breaking them or making a giant mess. So if anyone has any tips, I'm open to it. Maybe I was just being too impatient. Like I said, I'm more of a cook, but these are cookies that I can make because they're very simple. That just took us like a minute to make. All right. So I have about, we're gonna fill up this whole pan and we're gonna bake for about 10 minutes. And right before they're done, we're going to top with that candy cane. 
This will be the last one we add on here. All right. Sticky, sticky. That's okay. Let me just wash my hands for a second. Okay. All right. So now we're going to pop these in the oven. Again, it was 350. And we're going to set the timer for about 10 minutes. So at around 1024, we're gonna check those out again, all right? So I'm gonna move my bowl to the side and we're gonna get started with our, our milk here, okay? So what you're gonna need for the milk is of course milk. <laughs> so um, you're gonna need two glasses, milk and chocolate syrup. But before we actually get into making the milk, we're gonna, we're gonna line the rim of the glasses with, um, like a chocolate candy cane mixture, okay? So I'm gonna grab out my microwave safe bowl here and we're gonna get that mixture started first. All right, so for this, we are going to need um, two tablespoons of chocolate chips. Here, okay, so here are my chocolate chips. And I'm using a dark semi-sweet. I love dark chocolate, so I went with this one but you can use whatever one you have in your kitchen. Okay. We're gonna try to measure chocolate chips. Never, never successful, but we'll try. Okay. And then we're gonna also add a teaspoon of milk. And that's just going to help thin it out a little bit. Okay. And now you're gonna pop this in your microwave for, um, for about 20 seconds, and we'll give it a stir and see if it needs any more time. All right. So while we have that going, we're going to get our candy cane mixture started. So in this bag, I just have some candy canes that I took out of their wrapper, popped in this bag, and I did um, I did four of them since we want to have a little bit extra for the, for the cookies. And then we're just gonna take our rolling pin. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna put you on mute while I hammer these. <laughs> but we're just gonna take our rolling pin and we're just gonna crush them as much as we want. You can leave them in bigger chunks, smaller chunks, but that's what I'm gonna do. All right, my doggies did not like that, but we did it. There's all of our crushed candy cane. And I'm gonna grab out our chocolate. And we're gonna give it a stir and see if we wanna add any more milk or if it's perfect. And I would say it is perfect. See how there's no lumps in there and it just smooths out really nicely. That's what we're looking for. All right. So once you have your chocolate melted, so we just did two tablespoons of um, our chocolate chips, one teaspoon of our um, milk, microwaved it for 20 seconds, that was it. Now we're just going to keep that chocolate there and I'm gonna dump my candy canes out, almost all of them, not all of them, but almost all of them onto our plate. Okay and we're gonna rim these glasses. So here we go. Rim, rim, rim. And we're gonna pop it in the candy cane. Okay, just like so. There we go. And now we're gonna do it for glass two. And what I'm gonna do with these is actually pop them into my freezer while we're um while we're making the milk all right there we go so like i said i'm just going to pop these in my freezer so that the chocolate quickly hardens um and gives us that nice seal that we're looking for on our glass okay that's where i'm headed right now and it's only for 
Uh, it's only for a few seconds. <laughs> we don't want our glasses exploding in there. Okay. So now that we have those glasses in the freezer, we're gonna make our milk. So I have two different glasses just to hold us over. And we're gonna add one cup of milk to each glass. That's about a cup. Okay. And we're also going to add in, of course, the chocolate syrup. And we're doing about one tablespoon, whoops, one tablespoon per cup. And we're gonna give it a mix. And then at this point, if you wanted to add the peppermint extract, you can do that. I, like I said, I'm going to actually let the candy canes kind of soak in my milk to give it that peppermint taste. Um, I can't do a lot of strong flavors right now, um, but if you want to go ahead and add that peppermint extract in there, you would add um, about a half teaspoon, so a fourth teaspoon to each glass um, for that peppermint extract. But another option is to put that candy cane right in there and kind of let that flavor start kind of mixing together. As we all know, candy canes have a, a very like strong flavor. So that, that flavor will start kind of mixing into your milk. And I'm gonna actually grab out our glasses from the freezer because the chocolate should be good by now. Okay. Oh, they look so pretty. All right, so here's our glasses. I'm gonna pour in the chocolate milk. Add that candy cane. We do glass two. Pour in our milk. Add that candy cane. That looks so fun. So here we have, isn't that so beautiful? And how easy was that? You probably, like I said, have all of these ingredients in your house already. We all get tons of candy canes around the hollies and never know what to do with them. So here is a great idea. So now that we have our drinks made, we're gonna bring these out in a second. We wanna to top our cookies with the rest of that candy cane mixture, okay? So I'm gonna pull the cookies out of the oven for a second so we can add the crushed candy cane right to them and then we'll let them bake a little bit. I put these a little too close together, but that's okay. They all taste the same, right? Okay. So here we go. And they're not done cooking yet. We're not gonna eat them. We're just gonna top them with some candy cane mixture. And it, maybe you only want to top a couple, that's okay too. Whatever works best for you. All right, so we have, and that was the perfect amount of candy cane for the milk and the cookies. So if you're making exactly like I am, I would recommend crushing four. That's the perfect amount. Okay, here we go. So now we're gonna pop these back in the oven for about three to four minutes. All right, so while we're doing that, I'm going to um, share my screen again with you so I can show you um, exactly what will be coming in that um, presentation that you are getting. So like I said, you'll have the milk moments information, dairy, you'll have the recipe that we go through today. Um, and this, like I said, is using the blue diamond cake mix, but you could also use a regular chocolate cake mix as well. Um, it has all the information for how to make the cookies and then how to make the milk. And this looks like a lot of information, but it's very simple as you just saw um, how to make, how to actually make that peppermint chocolate milk. 
And then I do have links to both of the recipes. Um, if you would like more information or to see their photos, um, those will be included in there too, um, as well as, like I said, a link to entering that contest. And um, I did wanna mention that we are gonna be doing um, one randomly um, drawn winner after the class today. So all of you that are attending will go into a random generator and I will have one winner that um, will receive a really great prize pack from American Dairy Association Northeast. And um, so I'll be contacting you later today for your address if you are one of our, our winners, um, which I hope that you're excited if you are, because um, like I said, the prize pack is, is great and we're very grateful that they're partnering with us for this series and our mini chef series too. Um, so with that, it is 1024. So I'm gonna get these cookies out of the oven and um, I'm gonna show you the final product of everything, okay? So here, let me grab a plate here. I'm gonna get one of these cookies so you can see everything together. We have to see the final product for, for Santa, right? He would be so pumped about this recipe. All right, so here are our cookies. Here's the final product of our cookies. They look really yummy. I have one over here. Maybe a little too soft. Okay. A little too soft for me to get off there, but that's okay. I'm gonna just put them right here so you can see them. And then here we go. And here's our milk. And there is your final candy cane chocolate cookies and milk that the whole family will love, Santa will love, and um. It'll be a, a really fun, fun holiday that you can make together as a family. So like I said, you'll be getting all this information later today. And um, I'll be sending an email to the winner of our, of our randomly drawn prize. So thank you again for joining me. I hope everyone has a wonderful holiday season. I did want to mention that um, I'm going to stop the recording.